everybody you are watching tutorials my name is Alex and today I'm gonna show you how to create this night sky in Adobe Illustrator in the most convenient and simple way so let's start with a new document Control N or Command N on your Mac I'm gonna size it with 1920 by 1080 click create and first of all grab your rectangle tool and cover entire artboard with the rectangle swap your fill and stroke and delete the stroke Make sure that your fill is on foreground and navigate gradient panel. Or go to the Windows gradient. You also can use Ctrl F9, Command F9. On your gradient panel, choose it, apply the gradient, clicking on this slider. Change the type of your gradient to radial. Add one additional gradient point at the position of 70%, like so. Now apply these colors. Let me grab my gradient. At the position of 0, I have 0, B, 3, 1, 7, 5. At the position of 70%, I have 0, 0, 0, F, 5, 5. And at the position of 100%, I have 100% black. Now grab your gradient tool keeping your rectangle selected. Grab your gradient tool. And first of all, size up your gradient, like so. Then find this bullet on the top. And change the ratio. So it's kind of oval shape now. And holding on this slider, nudge it down your gradient, like so. Now it's time to lock this background and create a new layer, clicking on this icon on the bottom of your layers panel. It's time to create stars and we need to one additional resource, so go to the link in the description and you will find these scatter brushes. They are available for free for commercial and personal use. Download one single PDF document. Open this document in Illustrator. So go, file, open, open this document in Illustrator. One, once you open this document, you will see this uh, small canvas, this small empty canvas and empty layer. Navigate to your brushes panel or go to the Windows brushes, F5 on your keyboard. Select all new brushes from scatter brush number 1 on the top left to scatter brush number 9 on the bottom right, holding shift key. Now go to the library on the bottom left and choose save brushes. Name them, click save. You can close this document. Now go to the brushes library again and choose this option user defined find your brushes navigate to the pencil tool and with your pencil draw a wavy line to cover all entire artboard brilliant apply this brush number 13 Now go to the object and expand appearance. Grab your selection tool and using right mouse button context menu, ungroup one once and ungroup twice. Now find one of these transparent rectangles. Grab your magic wand tool and click on this transparent rectangle to select all of them on your artwork. Click delete to get rid of them. Now select the layer with your brushes, clicking on this bullet on the right. All of your elements are selected. Go to the object, path, simplify. Uncheck this option straight line, if it's checked. 
and set the value of curve precision to the 40%. Check this option straight line and click OK. Now you have a stars. Let's create a moon. Uh, create a new layer. Grab your rectangle tool uh, with Alt and Shift selected. Draw a perfect circle. Now holding Alt, move to create a duplicate at the direction of top right. Sorry, I didn't create a duplicate. You have two overlapped circles, select them both. Go to the Pathfinder and choose this option minus front to create a lunar shape. Create a duplicate with Ctrl C, Ctrl B to paste this duplicate on bottom. Now go to the effect, blur and apply the blur. Be cautious that this creates a raster image. Set the radius of your blur to 8 pixels. And now let's create uh, some kind of comments. So to create the comments we need to grab our rectangle tool and draw a rectangle with a size of around 600 pixels and with a diameter around 70 pixels. I choose 68. Select these two anchor points on the right and drag on the bullets to round the corners to the max. In my case I have a radius of 35 pixels. Now select this tool on the left. Grab your scale tool. Hold left mouse button key and drag to the bottom. Like so. Brilliant. Scale down your comet. Apply a default gradient. In order to do this, click on the slider and from this drop down menu you need to find a white to black gradient. Make sure that your black is RGB black, not a grayscale black. Now go to transparency, change the blending mode from normal to screen to render your black to transparent. Reverse your gradient and push your black color to the position around 85%, like so. Navigate to transparency once again and decrease the opacity to around 35%, like so. Rotate it to denote the fallen comets. I'm gonna decrease the size and place them randomly on my artwork. And this is it. This is the final result. This is how you can create a nice night sky in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you do, don't hesitate to thumbs up, thumb up, subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. I want to thank you for following to the end and have a nice day.